become death, the destroyer of worlds. July 14, 1945, at the top secret research facility in Los Alamos, New Mexico. A heavily armed convoy was loaded with parts for a new kind of bomb. This bomb was the product of three years' research and had cost $2 billion. Scientists and soldiers of the Manhattan Project gathered for the first ever test explosion of an atomic bomb. I tip the welding glasses and look down on the sand next to me. And you know, if it's a dark room, you lift the curtain, and the full daylight is streaming in. That was what I saw, and then I was impressed. We didn't talk much. I'm sure that all of us, the two dozen of us on that spot, we're thinking, soon this will be used, and at that time, it will not be an experiment. All of a sudden, an incredible flash of light illuminated everything many, many times brighter than sunlight does in New Mexico and at noon on a bright day. Many miles of the desert were completely blinding, and so I actually lost uh, my vision for a few seconds. When it recovered, I turned back, and I saw a huge ball of fire, bright yellow, rising through the atmosphere, and the whole atmosphere in the direction of the bomb was filled with strange violet light. Aesthetically beautiful things I have ever seen on an enormous scale. This cloud was peach, pink, and purple surface. So I think at that time I just stood and watched and just just completely enraptured. And just tremendous billows, like a tremendous smoke cloud, and colors would unfold from the interior. I mean, it would darken in places and then would open, and a new burst of luminous gas would come to the. Received me with the news. I read in the newspaper that there was an explosion in one of the ammunition centers here in Mexico, but nobody was hurt. I'm quite sure Mitzi knew something, but I was not supposed to tell her more. I tried to go to sleep. I couldn't. By 11 o'clock, I was at my desk. And here comes a very wonderful young woman who worked with me in the small group. I brought her along from Washington, Mary Arco. Mr. Teller, Mr. Teller. We were not allowed to use any titles. I was not doctor. Mr. Teller, have you ever seen such a thing in your life? You knew the world would not be the same. Him. 